Let's take a look at Frank's backhand volley from start to finish. Having hit his split step, Frank pivots with the outside foot, transfers the weight to that foot, and turns the shoulder sideways. As he turns sideways, he gets his racket into position. It looks very similar to a sliced backhand, but he's not taking the racket back as far. His hand stops more or less in between his shoulders, and the racket head is angled back. The relationship between his racket and his hitting arm is going to look very similar to a U. From this position, now his preparation is complete. He's ready to swing forward, and he does that by stepping into the court with his inside foot, transferring his weight to that foot, and swinging at the tennis ball by driving the racket and his arm as a unit to his contact point, which is out in front of his body. Once he makes contact, he's going to have a very brief follow through. And remember that on the backhand volley, there's more of a downward component than there is on the forehand volley. Once he's followed through like he has here, now his backhand volley motion is complete. Aww.